What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video we're going to be going over the best settings for X Defiance. So before we get into the video, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, please do. And of course, leave a like. Thank you very much. So these settings are going to help you improve when it comes to the controller side, especially as I'm a controller guy. Going to help you guys when it comes to aim assist, field of view, and so much more. So let's get into this. Okay, so now we'll start it off with the field of view. So the field of view I personally go for is the max. You can go for something like 100. I think 100 is probably a good one for you guys. So you can keep it as default. But for me, I'm going to go for 120. ADS field of view. This is very important. If you turn it to this one, basically it will increase the zoom levels. It looks like the enemies are a lot more closer. The only issue with this is though, is when you use it, you're going to have more visual recall. The less visual recall is what you want. So you got to use this one here. I have hold as ADS behavior. We're going to keep this as default. We're going to have the melee during ADS. We're going to keep that as default. So we have it off. Aiming, interrupt, reload. We're going to keep that as default right now. Crouch behavior. We'll have as toggle, tap. Because you don't want to be holding down the thumbstick. That would be a nightmare. We don't really want to have auto sprint. Because that's definitely going to be a pain. If you're just going to constantly sprint all the time. Sometimes you maybe want to walk around that corner. You can have a lot of issues when it comes to auto sprint while you're aiming. Because after you're running and you try to ADS. It takes longer. Have it off and don't have it on. All of these settings here i personally would just say just leave as default okay so this is for your hud so pretty much the smaller it is the smaller your hud is going to be in the center of your screen you don't really want that it's going to kind of look too much so the best way to clean the ui is just stretch it out so it's 100 100 there you go this is very important this is your ping display so pretty much you're going to find out how the performance of your game is so if you're having some internet issues then you hopefully should figure out what's going on i don't know if this actually shows a ping for everyone but you see your own ping this setting is extremely important. This is going to show your teammates health bar and their name tag just a lot more indication of how their teammates are going to be looking you can see if their health bar is really weak or not so i would suggest to be turning this on all right and now here we are on the controller side so if you want to please pause the video because these are my controller keybinds if yours don't look like this then you have to usually manually change it through the playstation settings but this is a very important keybind you want to have especially jumping with l1 here we are for aim assist we're going to just leave this default don't want to be messing about with the aim this honestly okay so here this is your sensitivity so i would say let's go honestly i'm gonna go for 75 and 75 so this is the sensitivity aim look so we're gonna actually turn this down i prefer to have like what should we go for I, I don't want anything too high so i'm just gonna go for 70 right now i might say like 65 but i think 70 is gonna be fine for me and when it comes to the sniper scope some of them are pretty far distance sniper scopes as it is like a six times or eight times so having that high zoom levels can be extremely slow so i like to leave this as 1x when it comes to dead zones on the left and the right you need to be doing this by your own personal preference you might already have some stick drift so you have to change this around to see what works for you but this is actually the default right here the 10 10 acceleration speed extremely important this is what you want to be turning down i don't like to have any of it i just want to have it all off when you have acceleration it's basically when you start moving it increases the speed so if you spin around a circle, you'll start from zero and it'll go to 100. But if you already have it completely off, you're already instantly moving at speed of 100. Hopefully that makes sense for you troopers. Controller vibration, please turn it off. And there we go. That is the best controller settings for X Defiance. I hope this video did help you. If it did, don't forget to leave a like. Come scrape, be a part of the Pink Wigami. And I'll see you on the battlefield.